The Marlins and the Brewers in Miami on Tuesday. Adam Conley has a 1-0 lead in the top of the second, but that lead would prove short-lived at the plate. Domingo Santana. That's a drive to right and deep. Ichiro going back at the wall, and it's gone. And the Brewers have a 2-1 lead on a long opposite field home run by Domingo Santana, his seventh of the season. The Marlins are down 2-1 now as they come to bat in the second inning. Here's the pitch, and a ball driven deep to left field off the bat of Real Muto, and it is up, up, and away. Game tied, just like that. Real Muto with number eight. Hit it into the seats in left, straight away left field, up over top of the visitors' bullpen. So two outs, Yelich at second base with the Justin Bohr who struck out in the first inning. Bohr in the center field, that's a base hit. Yelich around third, and he scores. Justin Bohr delivers a two out RBI single to center, 3 2 Miami. Now the bases are loaded for the Brewers. Again, with two outs, they load the bases. We'll see if Lucroy can deliver. Lucroy to center and deep. Ozuna goes back, has room, reaches, makes the catch at the track, bangs into the wall, and Conley escapes the fourth. JT Real Muto homers. That was back in the second. Real Muto blasts that one to left center field. Deep Santana on the run, looking up, and he won't get it. It clangs off the wall and it bounces into center. And Real Muto's racing for third. Down the stretch he comes. It's inside the park. It's a home run. Real Muto has an inside the park home run, and it's a 4-2 Marlins lead. Runners go, and a double steal. Gordon gets third, Yelich gets second. Everybody's happy. For Gordon, number 50 on the season. Lee Gordon becomes the ninth player in Marlins history to steal 50 bases in a year. The Brewers have had runners in every inning except the first. Got him. Bearclaw strikes him out, gets the two outs, finishes the fifth. The aforementioned Ramos gets Jason Rogers. Base hits his last two at bats. Swing and a miss. The Brewers strand the tying runners in inning number eight. The Marlins pick up the 6-4 win. It's their sixth win in eight games. JT Real Muto becomes the first catcher since Gary Carter in 1980 with an inside and outside the park home run in the same game. Taylor Youngman's three and two-thirds innings was the second shortest of his 17 career starts.